Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Let's look at the fourth method of evaluating limit, known as limit at infinity. All right, we have four. So, um, usually, we represent infinity as this, all right? So, this symbol represents infinity. Whether it's a positive infinity or a negative infinity, this is infinity, all right? Um, so, the question now is this. How do we evaluate um, limits of functions that are at infinity? What do you do? Whether positive or negative, what do you do? Now, here's what to do. Simply divide each of the terms of that function by um, the given variable to the highest power. All right. Then when you're done with that, take the variable as zero, and you get your answer. So let, let's give an let's give an example. So let's say example. We are asked to evaluate. Evaluate. Let's say um, the limit of a function of let's say. 3x plus 5 all over 4x cubed plus let's say 7 take limit as x tends to let's say positive infinity alright as x tends to positive infinity how do I evaluate a case like this? Now, here's what to do. I uh, will say solution. So, I'm given the function 3x plus 5 all over 4x cubed plus 7. So, I will divide. I will divide each term. By the variable to the highest power. The variable to the highest power is x cubed. So divide each term by x cubed. So this will now be this will now be 3x all over x cubed plus 5 all over x cubed all over 4x cubed all over x cubed plus 7 all over x cubed. Alright, simplify this. Um, this can cancel this. So perhaps this would now be perhaps this would now be uh, 3 all over x can cancel x cubed to give you x squared plus 5 all over x cubed all over x cubed cancels x cubed and left 4 so 4 plus this gives you 7 all over x cubed so I have this case um, with this now they cannot they cannot longer simplify alright this cannot be simplified further so the tax here is now put x as being 0 from here this will give you 3 all over 0 squared plus 5 all over 0 cubed all over 4 plus 7 all over 0 cubed so this will now be equal to 3 over 0 3 over 0 plus 5 over 0 that's 5 over 0 all over 4 plus 7 over 0 cubed. That's 7 over 0. This will now be equal to, of course, here's an undefined term. We'll think it as 0. 0 plus, here is also undefined. These are undefined because the denominator is 0. But for here, we'll assume it to be 0. 
it becomes zero here plus this also becomes zero all over this becomes four plus zero so this now gives you zero plus zero zero all over four plus zero four so if i do zero divided by four my answer gives zero that means if i solve this please um, after evaluation the answer gives zero okay so this is how you solve problems on limit of a function as x approaches infinity okay all right so this is how you solve this let's take a second example So let's take a second example. So example two, let's say we are asked to evaluate this time as x tends to negative infinity of um, 6x to the power 5 minus 4x squared plus 3 all over um, 11x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 minus x. Right. Let's be asked to evaluate this as x tends to negative infinity. So solution, what do we do here? First concept, write down the given function. The given function here is 6x to the power 5 minus 4x squared plus 3 all over 11x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 minus x. So I have this. Uh, my next task here would be to divide divide by the x term with the highest part. From here, the x from all of these, the x term with the highest part is x to the power 5. So I'll divide each term by x to the power 5. This will now give me this um, 6x to the power 5 all over x to the power 5 minus 4x squared all over x to the power 5 plus 3 all over x to the power 5 all over this is 11 x to the power 5 all over x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 all over x to the power 5 minus x all over x to the power 5. So divide all of the terms by x to the power 5. If I work on this, this will now be x, this will now give from here, this will cancel this, that gives you 6 becomes 6 all over 1 minus from here x squared cancels x to the power 5 that gives you 4 all over uh, this gives x power 3 okay so 5 minus 2 gives 3 okay so plus this gives 3 all over x to the power 5 all over uh, from here, this will cancel all of this. So I'm left with 11 over 1 plus this will give 2. So all over x, of course, 5 minus 4 gives 1. x by 1 is x minus x here gives you 1. All over divide here by x. So the power here is 1. 5 minus 1 gives you x to the power 4. So we have this. Next up, if I simplify for that, oh, if, I, if I simplify for that, or you can see at this point, just to save time, say put x as being equal to 0. So this will be equal to 6 over 1 is 6 minus 4 all over, this becomes 0 cubed plus 3 all over 0 to the power 5 all over 11 over 1 gives 11 plus 2 all over this is 0 
minus 1 all over, this is z power 4. So this will now be equal to, this gives you 6 minus, this one gives 0, 0 cube is 0, 4 over 0 is undefined, but we we'll call this as 0, plus 3 all over, 0 to the power 5 is 0, 3 over 0 is actually indeterminate or undefined, but as you need to be 0, all over 11, so plus 2, 2 over 0 gives 0, actually undefined, but you are assuming that 0, minus, of course, this also gives 0. So at the end, 6 minus 0 plus 0, that gives you 6, all over 11 plus 0 minus 0, 11. So you have this answer. The answer here becomes 6 over 11, right? So this is a simple concept of evaluating limits involving infinity, all right? As easy as divide 2 by the highest power of x, all right? After you're done with that, take x as 0, then simplify, you have your answer. So this is how you solve this question.